Hello, so I'm sitting in front of Dawson Taylor and I will be shooting video around Boise for the next week or so and uh, Boise is a really fabulous town although not without complaint and uh, I've been here for I think 17 years longer than anywhere else I've spent and I'm going to show you just mostly stuff around downtown and maybe a few other places. Um, if you're planning on moving here, don't. We have enough people already. Uh, come and visit though. Spend your money and then leave. Thank you. Uh, okay. Hey, so uh, howdy. It is uh, December 30th, 2017 in Boise. It's been a beautiful day, just, God, just an incredibly beautiful day today. It was almost 50, I think. A lot of the snow is melting. And I'm just wearing a couple of light layers. And it's been gorgeous. I mean, you can see, can you see the foothills behind me? It's been gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So, anyway. So here's a better shot of the foothills. Hey, so I just got back to my car after walking around in the sun all day and my back is aching. Getting old sucks, you know, although I'm not that old. But yeah, I've been walking since about 2 o'clock and I think it's, well, 4.43 and I don't know how far I've walked. Probably, I'm thinking 7 miles maybe. I was with Pam part of the time. Pamela Dama, hot dama, hot dama with Pamela Dama. So, um, I think I'm gonna go try to find Chris and see if she wants to watch a movie tonight. And pig out on spaghetti. Totally pigging out on spaghetti. Doesn't that sound good? God, that sounds so good. Oh my God. Okay. So I just left Winco and this moon is really spectacular. It's just huge. Too bad this camera doesn't resolve. I guess I need a DSLR with a 500 millimeter lens in order to do it justice, but my phone's pretty good. Hello. Hello. We're up at Chris's watching some Delos on YouTube. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> so, hello. This is an experimental video to see if, first of all, this microphone can hear me and to see if this flips upside down when I move it to my PC, which they've been doing and it's a pain in the ass. So, anyway, test over. Hey, it's Sunday morning, the, what is it, the 7th of January, so we're a week into the new year, and I am on Fairview, headed into downtown, I'm going to go eat breakfast, and then I'm going to go hike. Good morning. So here we are on the ascent. This is called the Kestrel Trail, and trying to keep up with Corey. These actually turn out pretty well if you hold them in profile, I mean in landscape. Uh huh. Your phone looks just like mine. Uh, we do have the same cover. Mine's LG. Is yours an LG? No, it's an iPhone 7. Yeah, mine's an LG. So here's what Boise looks like right now. Beautiful sun. Nice and warm up here, sort of. All relative, I guess.
Say hi, Corey. Hi. <laughs> hi, viewers. Oh, hi, Chuck's viewing Good. audience. Here comes Chuck trekking through Hull's Gulch. Beautiful out here. Intrepid trekker. This trail is amazing. <laughs> hey Pooch, how are you? <laughs> so, muck, 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 muck. Okay, all different kinds of conditions on hulls today. Sand, snow, mud, wet, dry, sunny, shadowed, treacherous. So I'm putting my phone away, actually. Hey, so I don't know if you can hear me or not or what this audio is going to sound like, but I'm at the mall. And I am kind of disgusted with the mall, actually. The food court is just sad. There's, you know, nothing good at the food court. It's really expensive. And it's, you know, <sighs> I go to the mall to pay my Sprint bill. And sometimes I go to walk. If the weather sucks, I mean, Boise weather is so gorgeous. But if the weather sucks, I go to the mall and walk sometimes because I like to walk a lot. I walk, I try to walk five miles a day and I seem to be successful at that. Um, so I'm walking out to my car. Oh well. So one of the nice things about Boise is that it is super walkable. Um, I'm downtown and the core of downtown is just right there and the city itself is you know we have a progressive mayor Dave Beter and he hired um, a walkability a city walkability consultant who came and did a study on the city and put together a bunch of recommendations that the city has followed and Boise is you know there's the Capitol building right there Chicago Connection, um, Idaho Central Credit Union. It's the ugliest building on the planet, but a great bank. And so um, I love it here. Although it's, you know, pricing me out, I'm uh, discovering, like everybody else, that our houses are being bought out from underneath us because we're renters. And Californians are moving in by the hordes. They sell their shitty little house in California for a million dollars and come here and buy up a bunch of properties and, you know, flip them or not flip them, but turn them into rentals and try to get California rents out of them. And the rents in Boise, I mean, just from 2010 to 2014 doubled. I had a two bedroom, two bath apartment for 700 a month that I started in 2010. And when it got sold out from underneath me in 2014, everything around me was 1400 bucks a month. The same thing. Two bedroom, two bath. So everything doubled in four years. And now, from what I understand, uh, there have been 5,000, or what was the number? It was 5,500 permits um, for construction uh, this year. This is 2017. Well, I mean, uh, this past summer uh, when I came back from uh, Spokane. Anyway, um, lovely Boise. There's flying in. Anyway, I'll take a break. More construction going on in Boise. It's all over the place. 
There's one of the beautiful old buildings down here. City Hall. So, you know, the city came through and widened all the sidewalks, or they're in the business of it, in the process of it. But it's getting crowded. Traffic sucks. So this is City Hall, and that's the U.S. Bank building, the brown one in the background, and there's the new, um, that was just built by the Gardner Group, this thing in the background that says clear water on it. This is the Chase building. Fun stuff. Capitol Boulevard. Dharma, Sushi, and Thai. This has been a whole bunch of things. This is a Starbucks and other things. Capitol Street, there's the Capitol. Right there. Hello, my name is Marcus. I work at Dawson Taylor Coffee. As you can see, this is one of the best coffee shops in Boise because it is home to all the craziest people, schizophrenics, doctors, lawyers, politicians, musicians, artists. So come hang out, you're welcome here. Here, let me stop the button. Hi. <laughs> so here's my dopio and my San Pellegrino, and I ordered more San Pellegrino than I normally do, just because I want to sit here a bit longer. But this is um, Dawson Taylor. So I'm right in front of City Hall in Boise, right here. Yes. 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 so I think I'm gonna go bug Pam. <laughs> so, hi Pam. <clears throat> I'm what, eating. What are you eating? Tacos and beans. And beans in the cup? Yep. Oh, nice. Yum. <laughs> I'm 
Come here, you white-haired beauty. <laughs> hello. <laughs> Say hello. Ooh, there's a dog shit. Well, I. Hello. I don't have a cap on, so I can't look into the sun. Well, look at hello. the camera. No. Hello. Okay. <laughs> so we are in the boonies. Idaho boonies. Check it out. Oh, you should have gotten a picture of that coyote. Well, he was too far away to resolve on this. But we did just see a coyote off in the distance. Big, beautiful coyote. God, it's gorgeous out here. It's like, it's got to be pushing 60 degrees, I bet. Yeah. Mild winters. Uh, maybe we should be moving to Canada or Alaska because if this is any indication of what our winters are going to be like. I can't imagine what our summer is going to be like. Mm. Holy mackerel. There's the Snake River below. And this beautiful canyon. Beautiful canyon. Yeah, you, you can't see that. Can you? Yeah. Oh well. Information about birds of prey. If you want to know more, Google it. Oh, look, check it out. I mean, here's the snake. Snake River Canyon. Holy mackerel, is that gorgeous? Wow. Snake River Canyon. Pretty beautiful. We're going to drive down into Swan Falls in a minute. Okay, so this road starts at Swan Falls, right? Yeah. Is it over there? No, yeah. it's got to be that way. Um, oh, yeah, it is. Sorry. So there's a car down there. Huh, cool. So there's camp, camp spots along that. Down through there. Spectacular. Wow. We That's should come camping down here. That's nice. There was a huge volcanic explosion that occurred 1.3 million years ago. Hey, there's, there's a, bird. a crater over there. Yep. Oh, can you see it? Yep, there it is. That's a million bugs and somebody shooting. So there's a five mile wide crater here from this volcanic explosion. Where is it? It says right across the canyon. Well if it's five miles wide, you can probably only see it from the air. Maybe. So here we are at Swan Falls Dam. Pamela, hot Pamela. Hello, dear. Man, there are a lot of currents. Well, I guess there's a steel beam. Oh, man, this thing's floating. 
The steel beam is pretty solid, but this thing's floating. Big. This must be a solid piece of styrofoam. Mm. Hmm. This is a lot of water. Detritus from upstream collecting along the upstream edge. Kind of slimy, a little green slimy, not bad. There's the canyon wall, we just came down that. The geology of this is amazing. I mean, there's got to be a roadside geology book. And right over there, it looks like you can drive to it and hike up to the layers. Those layers are incredible. All the layers that have been put down by successive volcanic activity over the millions of years. Yeah, cool. Hello, we're at uh, Swan Falls Campground, and the mountain is behind us. Or I'm gonna turn, I'm gonna, you know, switch my camera around so I can see the strata better. There's Pamela, hot, hot damla Pamela, <laughs> and we're gonna walk down to the water, which is behind me there, the river. And anyway, hi. So there's some amazing strata up there. The time lapse that we shot on the road coming down here, you can see some of it, but this would really be fun to explore further with a decent. Um, geology hammer and some samples so you could see what the hell they were what was going on up there yeah that's one spot in the middle right there really amazing So this is an amazing piece of sculpture. I mean, I can't tell if it is cast or if it's just a bunch of steel that's been forged together. And in places it looks like it's forged, in other places it looks like it's cast. And it's amazing. It's just. This big slab of steel, it's not a slab, it's a whole bunch of two inch bar stock, or it looks like two inch bar stock, but the guy who worked it must have really sorry if my thoughts are discombobulated. I keep thinking about all the things that I mean, this, this, in places it looks like it's cast, in other places, it just looks like it's forged. It's a conundrum, or at least it's interesting. I've done a little steel work, making bicycles and stuff, but 
it's a cool piece.